Hello, today I'm going to give you an example on how to configure and program serial communication over universal serial bus between uh, Arduino Leonardo and Jetson Nano single board computer. Um, as you can see, they are connected using this red USB cable here. And I will write a simple program that will send data from the um, Jetson Nano to Arduino board and then Arduino will respond back with the same message. Okay, now let's switch to the code. Okay, I am currently logged into my laptop uh, which is running on Windows. Um, and now I'm going to connect to the remote desktop connection uh, uh, application to my Jetson Nano which is also connected uh, to my Wi-Fi network. Um, all right, so I will start the remote desktop connection. Okay, here we are. So now we are uh, on the Linux, which is Ubuntu distribution uh, number 18, as far as I can tell. Um, and here I'm using uh, two IDs to uh, write communication between Arduino and CU and uh, Jetson Nano single board computer. The first one and is Visual Studio Code. Um, here I am able to write programs in Python and uh, possibly uh, using other languages if, uh, if necessary with the use of some extensions. Another, which is obvious software, is the Arduino uh, IDs. Okay, let's have a look at the code on Arduino side. So here uh, we are initializing our serial, which is a uh, um, hardware serial uh, embedded into the um, Atmel microcontroller HVR uh, on my Arduino Leonardo. Uh, so this is the difference between the Arduino Uno, for example, and Arduino Leonardo, that the Arduino Uno has to have some external chip uh, providing uh, um, communication, serial communication using the uh, UART. Uh, so here we are configuring a speed, which is the, um, actually the baud rate for the serial communication. I'm using... Uh, something higher than um, 9060. Uh, by default, it's 9060 uh, if, if you want to specify this, I think. Um, the next line is just waiting for the serial communication port to connect. Uh, actually, it will, it, it will go over this line once the uh, Jetson Nano uh, Mm, connects to the mm, uh, to the Arduino. Okay, now we are in the main loop where we are uh, constantly checking whether anything is available on the line. If some data uh, uh, arrives, we are reading uh, as a string, but till the point we come across to uh, terminator uh, character, which is just a a vertical line. Uh, this is kind of simple protocol for the purpose of this exercise. After we receive the command from JSON, we are just returning back the information, hello JSON, this is what I got from you, and we are just appending the same message that we just received. So on the other side, on the other end of line, we can, we can, we, we, we can, we can confirm that, okay, this works, yeah? And the very last line is, we are just printing the uh, acknowledge message. Optionally, you can use a flash method of the serial. Um, so it will wait till all the data are uh, are uh, sent, transmitted from the from the output buffer. Yeah, and then we are just using simple delay of half of a second. And again and again, we are trying to um, to check whether data is. In there. Okay, so let's try to upload this program 
from from my Jetson Nano to Arduino board. Okay, looks like uploading is done. Now we can switch to a Visual Studio. And here we have the code responsible for transmitting and receiving data from the Jetson Nano. Uh, for the purpose of this, uh, of this program, I am using the Python uh, 3 version, 3.7, I believe. Um, and I'm importing serial library. So this library is a very basic library to communicate over serial. Here I am specifying a port number, which I can check using terminal. Or optionally, I can automatically grab from Arduino where, where I can uh, find it here. Yeah. So because Arduino IDE is detecting uh, my port where I am connected through Arduino for uploading programs automatically, so I know that it's div uh, div tt acm zero yeah uh, so I can just pick that one and just paste it here set the same baud baud rate like it is on the other side and then I can configure other uh, detailed parameters of this uh, serial communication which I am skip you know explanation about this because it's not necessary to to have them. Uh, Potentially, you can you can focus more on timeouts for uh, read and write data. Uh, in this particular case, it's five seconds for read and uh, two seconds for write. And now we are defining a loop where we are trying to write first command to Jetson, uh, which ends with this vertical character, vertical line character. We are encoding this because without encoding, we are not able to send data just in a string form uh, using the serial library. And once we send it, we expect that Arduino will receive it, read it, and in this blocking call in the read line, we can read the data that uh, that were sent from Arduino. After data are received, we are just printing the data on the in the console. That's it. So this is a very basic example of, of, of synchronous serial communication between those two devices. So now I will try to launch this uh, program and we will see in the console what is happening. Okay, as you can see, uh, we just sent a, a message to Arduino, which was command from JSON, and Arduino respond, is responding back with the message, hello JSON, this is what I got from you, and it happens the same command that was originally sent from JSON. So here is the lines. Okay, so this is basically it. Um, I think this code is already in my repository, so um, feel free to look at this. Um, probably more and more examples I will I will show you in the future. Maybe some asynchronous approach to communication with the use of specific registers of the microcontroller, um, but it will take some time. Um, thank you for now.